Four months after being named interim chief, 18-year LMPD veteran Paul Humphrey is now officially Louisville's new police chief. Humphrey takes over from former chief Jacqueline Gwynne Villaroyal, who resigned after a sexual harassment scandal hit the department. The change makes Humphrey the city's sixth police chief since 2020. And Wave News reporter David Mattingly asked Humphrey about changing LMPD. That's right, Meyer. Paul Humphrey has risen through the ranks at LMPD for 18 years now, and I asked him why he believed he was the best choice to change the department's internal culture, a culture that has eroded public confidence. I think to, to improve a place, you have to be part of that place. Uh, improvement from the outside rarely works. As chief, Paul Humphrey hopes to bring needed change to LMPD culture after two of his predecessors failed. He inherits a department rocked by scandal, a Justice Department investigation, and waning community trust. And LMPD in the city needs people to have faith in them. And I've got faith in these officers of LMPD. They're outstanding, they're very hardworking, and they just need somebody to believe in them. The public has its expectations as well. People I talk to want a police chief who listens to more than just his officers. So take into account what police find important and then what society or the people find important. It would be nice to see a little more activity, maybe something that is a little bit more productive to the community that it serves. Sentiment shared in multiple corners of the city. Louisville Urban League President Lyndon Pryor says residents are looking for a partner in reducing crime. A partner means that he is working side by side with folks and not um, attempting to pull or drag the community along in the direction that the, the department wants to go, which has been, uh, unfortunately, its history in the past. And at a time of annual triple-digit homicides, anti-violence activist Christopher Tuax says victims need a chief who listens. We know the numbers, but they constantly want that chief to lend an ear to their pain. Humphrey comes into the job without having to compete with other potential applicants in a national search or endure the public scrutiny that comes with it. But Mayor Craig Greenberg said the process wasn't necessary. I listen to the community every day on this job, and I've been hearing from members across the community for the past several months since June. Uh, and over and over and over again, people from all across the community have told me their support for Chief Humphrey. And Humphrey appears to be hitting the ground running, already naming his command staff and promoting more than a dozen officers. Reporting live, David Mattingly, Wave News.